Uh, kia ora, my name is Dean Hemmingson. Uh, I'm from the New Zealand Army uh, and I'm studying mechanical engineering. Uh, so my thesis project is looking at how shockwaves affect uh, microscopic geometries and fluid. So we're trying to find out what happens when you apply a shockwave through an impact uh, into a fluid and then what are those uh, phenomenon, small physics uh, phenomena happening at the microscopic level. Uh, so in this project, initially we designed a new capsule that was able to contain three samples and expose them to three different shock magnitudes. Uh, and then in that, in the experiment, we were able to get three different sets of data and then be able to look at those data sets to see how the shock's interacting with the fluid. Uh, so in the project, uh, unfortunately due to COVID, we weren't able to actually do the experiment. So instead we ended up doing simultaneous modelling to see how the shock wave will propagate through the capsule itself and how those shock waves are going to interact with each other in the capsule. Uh, so going forward, we hope that someone will take up this project and actually conduct the initial experiment and then really find out what happens when those shock waves interact well, with those microscopic geometries in the fluid. Uh, so in this project, it was really exciting being able to uh, do the full design process design a capsule, go into manufacturing and discuss with the people who are actually making it what they can do and what they can't do, and then also use simulations to confirm what we think is going to happen in the capsule. Uh, so this is the capsule we designed here. Uh, so we've got the three recesses and each one of them has got a little cone inside. And the idea of that cone was to essentially magnify the shock waves bouncing around inside and hopefully increase the magnitude of the shock waves inside the capsule. Uh, so hopefully this project uh, will deepen our understanding of how shockwaves are affecting those microscopic objects and such as microscopic organisms like E. coli and hopefully that will mean we'll understand how shockwaves are killing bacteria and being able to apply that into a form of food sterilisation. Uh, so previously shockwaves directly haven't been used as a food sterilisation, however there has been use of ultrasonic waves uh, as a form of food sterilisation, or at least in being able to kill E. coli.